Gruesome details emerged in the murder of pregnant celebrity chef Christy Cott and her husband, JT. Now, today, the sheriff said that Jason Owens directed investigators to his wood stove where human remains were found. We have team coverage of today's development, starting with Kimberly King. Kim, investigators appear to have a strong case against Owens. Darcel, they do, and today they release these 51 pages of warrants that include important evidentiary information. The sheriff tonight telling us that uh, Owens has been cooperating, being forthcoming, telling police information, as well as making admissions to his own wife. The search for J.T. Codd and his pregnant wife, Christy, began, investigators say, when Christy's father called to a friend in Leicester, worried that his daughter hadn't made it back home to Mississippi. Sheriff Van Duncan revealing today what he says Owens revealed to them. He did admit to taking the bodies, storing on his property, and destroying. The sheriff saying Owens has been cooperative. Because of that interview, we were able to recover what we think are human remains. Uh, part of those were recovered from a wood stove at that residence. That residence, investigators say, was Owens' trailer, just about a mile up from the Cod's home on Hooker's Gap Road. Investigators also interviewed Jason Owens' wife. Through that interview, you will see there some mention that he has uh, admitted to killing J.T. Cod. The sheriff later on in the news conference elaborated. He said that he had killed J.T. Cobb and had struck him with a vehicle. A truck, specifically the 2008 Dodge Ram belonging to victim J.T. Cod. The possible motive for the murders, the sheriff wouldn't say. But warrants show J.T. had reported thousands of dollars worth of his construction power tools stolen last fall. One report, investigators say, made reference to current suspect Jason Owens. But that was six months ago. Owens was never charged in that case, but there are breaking and entering and larceny charges related to this latest murder charge. Also, we did ask the sheriff about a possible motive, but he said at this time they were not releasing any information. Reporting live on Lester Highway, Kimberly King, News 13.